Well, separatist political party Quebecois has uh, taken back power in Canada's Quebec elections. That's according to TV projections. Now, if the projections hold true, 63-year-old party leader Pauline Murat will become the first woman premier of the mostly French-speaking province. Her party has been in opposition for almost a decade. Now, the current federal government, led by Jean Charest, was forced to call early elections following months-long student protests and allegations of ties with the mafia. We're switching over to Calgary, joined by Press TV's correspondent, Joshua Blakeney. Hi, Joshua. Tell us what you have, and uh, we hear that the TV station now has projected the win and uh, the reactions and exactly overall what people think that it means as far as the direction now uh, of Quebec. Yes, well, just in the past few minutes, uh, there have been media reports that indeed the Parti Quebecois have uh, emerged victorious in this election at least with enough seats to uh, form a minority government. It's yet unclear if they'll be able to form a majority of government, which could be uh, a pivotal uh, cusp that they're sitting on, because, of course, if they could form a majority government, then they're going to be able to uh, advance their separatist uh, agenda, which, of course, runs up against the uh, political aspirations of the Liberal Party uh, that's been in power for about a decade. The Liberal Party, of course, is a federalist party, one that seeks to uh, keep Quebec within the framework of the Greater Canada, uh, uh, the Parti Quebecois have, uh, have mobilized and uh, utilized the political capital that emerged uh, from the uh, student protest. Uh, we all know that Jean Charest uh, proposed student hikes, and I think that did translate into this uh, historic victory. We're now going to see the Quebec being led, uh, by, or at least the Quebec uh, National Assembly will have, it's quite likely, a majority of seats held by the Parti Quebec Quebecois. Currently, um, they've attained 59 seats. They need just 63 in order to uh, achieve that majority in the parliament. Uh, Jean Charest's Liberal Party, uh, it hasn't been uh, as dismal as some had uh, predicted. He's uh, attained 47 seats, and I think that's uh, symptomatic of the polarization that does exist in the province of Quebec, where you have uh, a faction that very much uh, seeks to keep Quebec within the framework of Canada, and then you have a, at least half the population, you might say, who, who view themselves as uh, native Quebecois who want to uh, separate from Canada. And so, of course, Prime Minister Stephen Harper in Ottawa will now have several predicaments. I think it ought to be noted that in his foreign policy, Stephen Harper is uh, sponsoring sectarian groups in countries like Syria, meddling in the internal affairs of other countries. And yet domestically now, he may have a, uh, a sticky wicket uh, in terms of uh, separatism emerging in his own country and so one might uh, surmise that he may have to be a little more introspective and a little uh, less interventionist in the future uh, and I think many people would like to see that him dwelling upon the uh, sectarian uh, issues in Canada rather than focusing on, on those in other countries which he's been uh, prosecuting in and years. All right. Well, Joshua, thanks so much. It'll be interesting to see exactly what takes place. And, of course, all eyes are on Quebec. Thanks so much uh, for that update. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV's correspondent in Calgary. Well, crossing back over the ocean now, turning to Northern Ireland, where rioters has thrown fireworks uh, at and other missiles at police during the third night of sectarian disorder in the capital, Belfast. One officer sustained a hand injury in the disturbance which lasted about an hour. Now the hostilities erupted on Sunday when loyalists from the Protestant community attempted to disrupt a march by mainly Catholic Republic. Around 3,500 people were killed in three decades of sectarian violence between Northern Ireland's 